I they ate my skate with challenge contract, let's do this. Thorns is essential and the others can be replaced by better operators you have in the same branch. If you replace the medics with very good medics like Nightingale and uh, elemental healers, then instead of using gravel you can use defenders to start the flamethrowers because with the good medics the defender can actually survive the flamethrowers, uh, which makes the strat a lot easier since gravel can't really survive the flamethrowers very good and yeah, she gets killed easily. But if you don't have a good medics to replace gravel, it just brings a lot more disposable units to start the flamethrowers later. We play Myrtle here first, and this is also the position where you want to replace the where you replace her with a good defender I told you to bring if you've brought Nightingale and stuff. But yeah, otherwise. Just do as I do. Do do what I, do what I do with gravel. Activate Myrtle skill after a sniper is present. Deploy Thorns here facing down. Deploy gravel here to stall the enemy so that Thorns can charge up. And deploy a medic on this tile to keep everyone alive from the caster. Activate Thorns skill once you can. And retreat this rock once the pillar falls down, because otherwise the evacuator will have his fireball go upwards, which is very bad. So yeah, don't forget to retreat the rock. After you've got enough DP, you can retreat gravel and deploy a defender or knockhorn on top. And yeah, again, now is the good time to replace Myrtle with the defender you've brought, if you have brought... Uh, Nightingale and stuff for the medics. Don't forget to activate Thorn skill. And, uh, yeah, I, you can see the flamethrower on the right side. Just use gravel to start it. Murdo also acts as a failsafe on that tile because the flamethrower will stop when they attack. So, the flamethrower will stop right on this tile, right between those two tiles, when they attack Murdo, which will allow Thorns to cut it because the flamethrower will remain in the in Thorns tile, in Thorns range. I'm gonna show you. I'm just, I'm just gonna demonstrate like this. Look at that. He's gonna stop in Thorns tile, and that's good. But as you can see, if you don't have a good medic and defenders, the unit can barely survive. Also, if you have a very good sniper and you kill the Tomb Keeper, it doesn't really matter because the sniper is only there to prevent anything from leaking before Thorn's skill gets ready. After Thorn's skill is ready, that is no longer a concern, so the sniper can just die. But yeah, that's all. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching, and bye.